All right, welcome everyone. This is stage one of Le Tac de Tour. We go Watopia Mountain route. It's gonna be an absolutely massive field. So I got here very early, just finishing the warm up here, and uh, I'll be with you to chat in just a sec. Just got a couple more little builds. Should be fun. It's going to be a really big group, so apologize if in the early going it's a little laggy because it very well might be. A little heavy this morning. Normally I'm 130. This morning it was 132. So that extra kilo might hurt going up radio tower, but might also mean we get more power out of the pedals, so might even itself up. In terms of the context, as you've been seeing been a big week. Yesterday was actually pretty damn solid. Um, and then we have a full recovery week coming next week. So even if I'm a little tired, admittedly, uh, there's no excuse to not just empty the tank completely with seven days of recovery coming next week. So you should be able to see a good hard, hard effort with a 20 minute climb in there. This is the same route that the uh, Pro World Tour guys did this morning. Freddie Ovet. No, he didn't win, so he got past right at the line. But it was a heck of a race. Wonderfully called by Matt Stevens at the end. Good excitement. Okay, let me share some links. in a sec. Alright, I'm just going to be talking to Instagram for one second. Some people know. Alright everyone, it's 
Sunday morning here, and we have going to be a farm burner of a Zwift race on tap. The live stream uh, link is in my bio. Today, the field is just going up and up. I think it'll somewhere be around 3,000 range, uh, if not a little bit more. Uh, and going against one of my big rivals on Zwift, one of the, I think he's ranked like fifth in the world. I'm 0-3 against him, but today we're on my turf with a 20 minute approximately climb on tap, including the radio tower. So, should be interesting to see. And uh, yeah, it's an absolutely massive field. It's the same race that the Tour de France guys did this morning, so it'll be interesting to see where we stack up in the end. And uh, yeah, like I said, links in the bio. Hope you enjoy. Whole race should be probably, I don't know, 45 minutes, something in that range. All right, if you're interested, check it out. One over a minute. I hate these things. Why has that got no sound? Got no sound. Turn your music on. Hope you enjoy seeing this suffering going on. I'd love to figure out a way to uh, stop talking to you. Um, I need to figure out a way on the stream that I can see it, the YouTube comments like on my screen, or just I, I guess I got to do it with two monitors. But I'm trying because. I mean, look at this, we're now at 2,500 people. And look at that, it's just, it's, it's going up and up and up here. Um, I don't wanna add 15 monitors and uh, have it potentially be very laggy. So, it might be laggy very early and then uh, hopefully, whoa, that's loud. Oh my God. Hopefully it'll start itself up. So the game plan is on the mountain there's a very steep initial section and normally people go absolutely wild there like just like seven eight watts per kilo for a little bit um, but I've seen it many many times now where people go wild and then by the time they hit the castle they are which is about halfway they're like completely obliterated because they just went so far into the red and then they're trying to recover at threshold or above and it's just I mean when you're above threshold it's just you're not going to be can't recover it's impossible um, 
So I'll try to uh, just kind of stay with the group there. Make sure I don't get dropped. So I think it'll take six and a half or something like that. Just make sure I don't get dropped from there. And then like start pouring it on when other people perhaps have kind of obliterated their cells, themselves. Could be a bomb. Right now, 3,200 people. <laughs> Pray that this doesn't crash. And if it crashes, I will make sure this time to be zen and not lose my mind. 3,300 people. Holy moly. I almost think they should limit it, to be honest. No. I think they should limit it. Like 3,000 a race. It's hard on the server, man. Look at this. It's just climbing. I only plays the big stage. <laughs> Look at this, oh my god. 3,500. That'll be the biggest race I've ever been. It's just still going up. These people, see, the people who are joining now, like their race is over. Because they're gonna start at the back of this pack and they won't even be able to see the front, right? Like they can't see the front at all. So like, they're, they're done. Their race is pretty much done. I got here 30 minutes before, and I'm not even at the front. Okay, bring the heart rate down, let's get some music going. We should get to the climb in not very long. And then based on seeing some of the other races, the climb should take us about 17 minutes. And then we go down a little bit, and then we go up to the radio tower, which is when the fireworks are gonna get going. do this. Almost 4,000 riders. People are going to go nuts here. People are going to go absolutely mental. Here we go. Everyone's on the same bike this race. So we're all on Trek Madone. Now a lot of people went with the lightweight wheels. I went with Zip 454 because A, I got them on my bike and B, I think it'll still come down to a sprint finish in the end. So they're a bit of an all-rounder. Wow, we start fast here.
350 for the first two minutes. We're going into this recline hot. Three twenty three for the first four minutes. It's like five point four. And we haven't even got the climb. Here we go. Z power. That guy that blew past me.
Come on, Brett. Come up. This guy's Z power. Shit. I should drop back. But it's like, I, I, I got all the break. I was the one who got it. I'm not gonna stop. It's ridiculous. Can I get an icy water bottle then? Or a cold water? I'll just wait for these guys. Can't pour that without a cap. It's okay. Here, put in this. Now it's Sure.
I'm gonna wait for the Boniface group. There's too many of them together. I'm gonna recover for a bit. I'm just waiting for them. There's too many of them. So, when we get to the radio tower, they'll blow by me on the downhill. And I won't be able to catch. It's too long of a downhill. Like if they just dog it, then, then yeah, I'll go again. Because I want to empty it, empty the tank. They're coming up here. See, look at the size of that group. They would have passed me. I want to drop Boniface, so he's the main threat here. I'm going to drive the pace here for a bit. He's under pressure. He's two seconds back.
Come on, this is 10 back. Coming to the radio tower soon. Come on, guys. Here we go. Final little bit and then we'll be on video. I can't like to do the let Z power guys like half the group Z power. What am I supposed to do? Oh. 
Oh, that was a bad spot. What am I doing? Lapse of judgment. Now, these are Z-Power, so they won't feel 20%. Got a clamp. Spike's so slow. 
Huh? It's like slow. Tron would have been at 100. Tuck, you idiot! Tuck! Go down and tuck! What is he doing? Breaking like a little bitch like me. Get off the brakes! Thank you. Jesus. My cat is cramping so bad. You see that? That was fourteen. Jeez. I lost last speed at the end there. Legs locked up. This is going to be a solo time trial to finish. That's the song I need. State of trance. This is gonna this is gonna hurt like a mother.
This is gonna hurt really bad. It's gonna take, this is gonna take everything I got. We need to do what we did on the climb again with a clamp in my calf. It's just totally locked up. Okay, I'm gonna lap the watch and we're gonna get this train moving. Let's go. What the hell? This Danoff guy's holding eight five. He's holding eight six. What? He's at nine six. What the?
what is he, 40 pounds? He's put himself at like 40 pounds. to pass it. Fucking thing. He's got me. And I didn't make to press that. I lost the race. Right there. I lost the race because of fucking mouse.
Good game. GG. See you later. You see, when you put yourself at 40 kilograms, downhill finish, surprisingly, the 60 kilo rider wins. <laughs> For once. <laughs> For once, I had an advantage on a downhill. Ugh. Four grand, 4,000 people. Thank you, Mark. 4,000 people in a minute. Right? Right? Yeah. It's, it was cramping so bad. Wow. Ooh, I'm green. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll do it later. Yeah. Just need to cool down. Oh, mother of God. See, it was kind of an in, like. It's, a, it's a improbable. It was a really hard TT yeah. to the finish because I thought he was going to catch me because he was doing like. Well, I, mean, the I don't know, those things flashed up for every three seconds. He was going like nine five nine five. I, I like so, but I the thought. The thing is, Frankie, you weren't. He wasn't gaining time. He wasn't gaining time, which was weird. And then that's why I looked at what his power was. That's why he, I switched, yeah. right? And saw that he was at like seven point five at three hundred and thirty watts. Which, do the math on that, right? Yeah. Guy's like eighty pounds. He's like a little, like golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but I thought he would catch me right so even though I was going TT mode like 360 was I think what was the average there on the last 10 minutes 365 for the last 10 so it's like 6 point 6 point 1 because it was 60 kilos this morning so 6.1 or something like that. But then I saw he met 19 seconds going up that S's hill, 18 seconds so after I hit the draft thing, when I said I thought I lost, right? Yeah, yeah. So I thought, should yeah. I be saving some if he comes past me and try to outsprint him? Because I don't know if you saw, but my watch is saying that on the downhill I hit 7.99. Yeah. On one of those little surges. Hey, 14 watts per kilo. Like, <laughs> that's that's pretty darn good. So I thought, I got good sprint in me right now. As close as it came, it was 20. Then it, 19 then, seconds. Then it just and then came. it ballooned up, because uh, we have a downhill to the finish. That was, uh, I think, like, in terms of my Zwift performances. That, that, was, that was pretty damn good. Like... The other guys. The, the, the climb. The other guys, you should congratulate them, right? They were the pouring it on. Were they were pouring it on, too. Brett Boniface and everyone. Yeah. But that was the first time I've ever beat Brett. Yeah. But it was a tactical climb, actually. We didn't go that fast. We went like 1730 up it. Right? Because I waited. You saw that. I waited for them. Yeah. Right? Because I could have kept pouring it on. But it's like, at a certain point, there's no point. Right, even though, like, like the Alp, it's different. The Alp, it's different because it's a summit finish, right? So, sure, I'm going to pour it on all the way to the end, right? But it's like here, because there's a big descent, right? It's like there's, there's, no, there, there's no point. If I get to the top of the hill and I have a 25-second lead, what do you do? 
right? There's a massive downhill on the radio tower. And those guys are lucky, like the inexperienced Swifters are lucky that I didn't have me and Brett Boniface there, the two more, and Brett Wakefield, I think his name is, the more experienced Swifters, that we don't have our Tron bikes. Because on that descent from the radio tower, a Tron bike in a race will easily hit a hundred, easily. Right? This thing, Max, this Trek Madone is garbage. Yeah, you heard me, Trek. Don't even bother sending me one. <laughs> I'll turn it down. I'll turn it down. The 25 grand bike. Little Esperanza upstairs. We'll smoke her any day. <laughs> She'll smoke it. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you want to send me one, that'd be wonderful. I could put it through the paces. But if Specialized is watching, I would much rather have Venge. Much rather. To be perfectly honest with you, as much of an eyesore as it was in the early going, the Specialized Shiv there with the little water bottle on the back is looking better and better by the day. It's actually growing on me. I think it looks, the lines of the front end of it are stunning. Oh my God. God, that was a barn burner. Thanks, Dylan. Oh. Normalized power there is going to be banging. Well, I saw in one of the times I saw, I recorded it, 740. Oh, the sprints. Yeah. The sprints were wicked, man. <laughs> like, well, the stops, the stops the workout that I did on on Wednesday. That's all I was thinking about on that. The one, one that like. One eighty-eight. Heart rate. Yeah. One eighty-eight. Not bad. It stayed. Could push harder. No, it stayed pretty. It stayed high the whole time, and I'm doing it on pretty tired legs. Yeah. Yesterday, like I said, was a little bit. A little bit more of a push than I wanted. That 10 times a minute was like brutal. No, I felt like coming off the hill, the power felt amazing, but I gotta say, it was. It was almost demoralizing, but not really. It was almost demoralizing the Z power, or however that guy was pumping out 40 kilogram man. Like, it was, it was kind of like, oh, I, I lost, it's over. Right? What's the point of pushing? If it was Brett Boniface, like let me say, if it was Brett Boniface who had the 30 seconds behind me, I would have believed it more, and so I would have, I think, gone a little harder. Even though I don't think the final minute I can't go, like I, I was going as hard as I could. I didn't even want to look at the screen. I didn't want to see anything. Like I just put my head down and just drove the pedals. Um, so, I mean, I was... Uh, that was banging. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everyone. That was uh, easily one of my best performances on Zwift. Like I said, it's a shame that I, I wish it was Brett who was the one chasing me, to be perfectly honest. No offense to this other guy, um, but I've never heard of him, and the uh, it, it, it did look a little bit sketchy, to be honest, at some point. So, like, I don't know if he was just having power meter troubles or something. But uh, there were some points where it was like, and again, it might be just a delay. It might be a delay in the power because there was one point where I clicked on his name and it said like 330 and seven and a half watts per kilo. So I was like uh, doing the math in my head. That's, I don't even know what that is. What is that? It's 50. What is that? 50 kilograms? Yeah. It's like, it's less than 50. I don't even think you can put your weight less than 50. I don't think so. I don't think an adult could put their weight less than 50 or 48 or something like that. Oh. Alright. Gonna cut this stream out before we get cut out. And uh, yeah, that's all. Time to uh, cool down for a little bit. And uh, I'll ride this high for the rest of the day because that was first place out of 4,000. That's, that's a good ring to it. That's a good ring to it. And it's just a start, let me tell you that. It's just a start. Because in 2021, 
they do not know the train that is coming. That's how I'll end it. Absolute train. <laughs>